Now let's talk about a very simple thing that we have just used in the last example as well and that is wild cards that we use that we can use with SOSL queries. So there are two wild cards in SOSL query or that you can use with the text that you are searching in SOSL query and these two are asterisk and question mark. So let me explain you uh, what is the use of wild cards. So if you're not aware of the complete term that you want to search and even after that you want to play, like do some search then in that case what you can do is you can just place place asterisk or question mark as a wild card that will have some meaning uh, which will help you do that search easily and fast uh, and in a fast manner. Let me explain it to you. So with asterisk, asterisk basically means zero or n number of characters can be there where there is an asterisk. So if you are specifying Univ like over here so it means if you have a, like a, like a name of University of Arizona or University of uh, Minnesota something like that so both of the records will be returned as part of this because instead of writing down complete name University of Minnesota or University of Arizona we have written down Univ and after Univ there can be n number of characters there can be literally anything and that will be considered as a part of this search and that will be or, and those records will be returned as a part of this uh, as a part of the result of this particular SOSL query. So this is what it means. So asterisk basically means zero or n number of characters can be there uh, wherever, it is, wherever it is used and you can use it in uh, like at the end uh, or you can if you want you can use it in, uh, like in the beginning just like this or yeah just like this and uh, if you want you can uh, like use it in between anywhere wherever you want. You can use it anywhere this asterisk, uh, asterisk wildcard and when it comes to question mark wildcard it basically means there can be only a single character and th there must be a single character uh, where there is a question mark. So what that means is that over here if I am searching find and inside uh, like in the place of this text I have written down jo question mark n. So this will return all the records which have uh, the text jo and instead of question mark it can be literally anything it can be any number it can be any alphabet it can be anything and after that alphabet or after that number whatever it is at the place of question mark after that we have n we should have n and all the records which have this type of text will be returned as a result of this SOSL query.